Hi, Fire Signs, Tarot Twins here. Welcome to your Tarot Twins segment. I am joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi, Fire Energies, and thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's really good to have you here. This is going to be the messages that you need to hear, Fire Signs. So, Aries, Sag, and Leo, this is going to be for you. We're not going to ask anything directly from the cards because we want to see the, the messages the universe wants to give to you. So, please be open minded. Uh, if you would like a private reading with myself and Black Feather Tarot, we are currently providing those and we do have a few available slots left. So, please feel free to be in touch. All the info that you need is below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also to check out Black Feather's page, the link to which is available below in the show more section. Um, let's jump straight into it. Okay, I'll just move these out of the way Thank for you a little. Oh, uh, for Aries, Sag. Oh, okay. So I've got a few cards that... Um, okay, so these one have seemed to just flown out a little bit. You've got the Page of Pentacles as well as the Three of Pentacles. Okay, what else is coming up for you here, guys? We've got the Seven of Cups, the Devil. Okay, and we'll give the Angel Answers a shuffle here as well. Okay, see what messages the Angel Answers Oracle cards are guiding you to. Oh, oh that one's... No. Okay, that's... Okay, wow. You've got no, if you energy. believe, no need to worry, let go. Mm -hmm. Some fighting energy, isn't it? It is. What's going on here, fire signs? Okay, just a few more cards. You've got the Ten of Swords there, the Four of Wands, and Strength, but it's come up in reverse, as is the Ace of Wands. This is interesting. There is some resistance in the energies here. Straight away, I'm seeing not right now. That's the words that are coming to my mind. Something's, something's not meant to be right now, but it's not supposed to be like that forever. I think there's a strong belief system, but there's a lot of letting go. No. There's, there's, there's either rejection coming up here. Or there's in a bit of an obsession game. There's a lot of give, 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 but not so much take. What do you think? Um, I think so too. And I just want to apologize for any of that background noise. Hopefully it doesn't take away from the reading here. Hopefully it will stop shortly. But I am seeing a lot of resistance. Um, as you were saying here, I do see that there's something here that's going to play out for you. There you go, it's stopped. But maybe not right now. There isn't a need to worry because just because something is not happening in your timeline doesn't mean it's not going to happen at all. I feel like someone here, I mean, with the devil here the fact that the devil has uh, shown up in your spread here i feel like there's something here that's draining you of your energy because the baphomet here he has the wings of um a bat and a bat is a creature who sucks the lifeblood you know out of its prey here so there is something here that is taking away from your energy whether emotional physical or mental now you are being drawn or someone here i feel like keeps coming back to you or you keep circling back to someone because the two of you have this pull towards one another this magnetic pull okay yes That's, but emotions are everywhere between the both of you they are scattered and there's openness maybe there's a love triangulation connected there's to possibly you. a third party um involvement there is an emotionally scattered energy and the seven of cups is a non-committal type of energy so though you may be drawn to this person and this person may be drawn to you i don't necessarily think it's you and them it's you them and someone else here or this person here wants to leave their options open here because to to someone here you may not necessarily be you know uh, a choice you, you no is it you're not an option you're a choice you, you are an option you are an option and you're no, not the and choice you don't want to be fire signs no, no, no that's no, not no. you know not that's, you that's you're... not the side of the numbers you want to be mm -hmm. on right um, i am seeing that there's some sort of message coming in or it's almost like there's some sort of message that needs to reach you Yes, there could be. I, I do feel like there could be, but I get the sense, fire signs, you're going to reject this message. You're either going to say someone no. I feel like it's going to be you that does the rejecting. I mean, some of you might be rejected here because Ace of Wands is you, but it's coming up reversed. Mm -hmm. So the universe is telling you something's not meant to be right now. Now, the strength card is a Leo. So for some of you, it's it's more of a message for a Leo. Okay, maybe you Leos are saying no, and like you're finally saying no to someone or you're saying no to the connection. Um but I get the sense that you might even communicate to someone if you believe this or if you believe X, Y, and Z. You know, you might be saying these words. You might be utilizing these words in your response to someone. 
You're saying no because you've been hurt by them before. The Ten of Swords is stuck in a hamster wheel of hurt and pain and thoughts. And we've got the devil here too. So they've done something to cross you, fire signs. And the universe might be telling you this is your opportunity to let them know how much they've hurt you or how much you're not going to tolerate this sort of behavior anymore. And it's good in a way because you're standing your power. And Page of Pentacles is here. Look how he's holding the pentacle. You in in their eyes. Your value is going to increase by you doing this. I really feel like you're going to become, you know, you're going to come into this powerful energy and you're going to become inaccessible to this person somehow. And it's really going to drive them crazy. Seven of Cups, they're going to be thinking, why are they doing this to me? What has happened? Are they seeing someone else? Why are they rejecting me? Why is there a block here? Um, I get a sense that you being possibly the chaser, you're going to stop chasing and it's going to get their attention here. The four of wands, I feel like there's a possible reconciliation in the cards. However, not just now, right? Um, could be a marriage proposal though. This is seen as marriage. Some of you could be declining this. Could be a commitment well, proposal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Could be, you know, this person wants to come back and reconcile things with you. Um, however, it's not happening just yet. So I don't necessarily see this coming up in your immediate future. For those of you that do, you know, you're holding on to a sense of hopefulness here. I do feel like there's a strong possibility for reconciliation or for this person to come back into the picture. Um, you were right when, when they say that the fire, when you say the fire energies here are resisting something someone resisting an offer it's almost like you're possibly turning down a beginning of some sort however because I feel like this beginning isn't necessarily new because I feel like you've kind of been here before and you want to do things differently mm -hmm. this time around mm -hmm. exactly because the ten of swords energy betrayal hurt deception something happened in which you didn't see coming right guys yeah yeah that's that that's a strong um a really strong message here now the, um I do feel like there's a, a, a powerful question that's coming to you because this is a big bird that's pictured in the in the cards here and birds are messengers and it's she size could very much display just how significant um, some sort of word or statement or question is going to be. So for a lot of you, I mean, it can be with someone you've, you've, you've dealt with before. For some of you, it's a marriage person or someone you're currently in a relationship with. Um, but I get the sense that the universe is telling you to let something go and you don't need to worry about it because it's going to sort itself out. The connection isn't in a place of strength right now. Um, and that's okay. Sometimes connections need to fade or communication needs to um, sort of become less frequent in order for you to have some more understanding in exactly. order for you to miss each other. It's a so, way of being tested, isn't it? Right. Know that it's part of the process and ultimately it could make you stronger. This could very much be a period of strength. It's either going to be make and break, you make or break. You don't have strength here, but the pillar represents strength. Um so I feel like there's face-to-face -face communication that can bring you a more support and more strength from this person. So but, but I get the sense that that's not going to take place unless you sort of come into this energy where you you set your boundaries, you tell them like it is, you call them out on whatever it is that they've been doing or mm -hmm. saying, and you're known to be this way, fire signs. You know, it's in your nature. It's why we all love you. It's a very direct um, energy. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, you no need to worry. The universe is reassuring you. Um, but I think you know that. I think you know that already. There is a sense of letting go. So a lot of you need to let go of this sort of um, energy that you're holding on to. It's like some of you are trying to force fit a connection or you're trying to make it happen. And more specifically, you're trying to make it happen right now. I feel like the energies here um, are indicating to us that the foundation on which you have built this connection, the structure, the foundational structure is a little weak. Okay. It lacks that strength um, as we spoke about. So right now what's happening is a blessing in disguise. You know, whatever it is that's going on between the two two of you this uncomfortable energy is really an opportunity for you to rebuild this structure for you to sort of restructure things move things around call this person out on it because if you don't there's a lot of games being played um and i don't feel like i feel like you're the one that's being played here um, or you're the one that's falling victim to some someone or something here. So I am seeing that really, you know, this dark energy with the devil, it's actually a blessing in disguise. And what you need to do when the devil shows up in your tarot spread, it's really because it's all about fears, anxieties, insecurities, um, in you know, feelings of um, inadequacies. I feel like the, the cards here are indicating that you need to shine a light on some of these fears or insecurities that you feel, okay? Because it's 
essentially you may harbor some of these and this connection here is bringing out the worst in you or is bringing out the worst of your fears so you need to shine a light onto some sort of darkness here um because i feel like that's a part of somehow that's entangled in this connection and somehow mm -hmm. i feel like it sort of puts you in a state of unease or it sort of worsens things for you Really powerful reading, though, Fire mm. Sign. So we hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. We will be, of course, sharing with you more Tarot Twin love messages throughout the week. So do stay tuned. And, of course, if you want that private reading, all the info that you need is listed below. Otherwise, take care. Lots of love and angel blessings. And bye for now. Bye for now.